Sophisticated weapons platforms like S-400, Iskander M, TOS 1A have also been shifted to positions near the Ukrainian border. Russia can possibly strike Ukraine from three directions. Belarus, which is friendly to Russia, Crimea, which was annexed in 2014, and Donetsk, which already has pro-Russian separatist forces. The odds are heavily stacked against Ukraine, but this is not the end of the story, and there is a probability that Russia may find itself getting engaged in a bloody, grinding conflict. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia won't have a swift victory against Ukraine. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Ukraine has around 150,000 troops who can be deployed within days. It's likely that the country can add another 100,000 lightly armed personnel from law enforcement and paramilitary forces. Not only this, Ukraine would be able to summon around 900,000 reserve forces. The 2014 experience also means that this time the troops will be better prepared. Though not so well armed and trained like Russia, it's clear that Ukraine will be able to mobilize a decent force. There are two aspects to this. The obvious one is that it will have strong numbers on the ground, and the second is that it will suffer a huge loss of lives. The second factor will result in huge diplomatic pressure on Russia to stop the invasion and could even potentially compel the US and NATO to intervene militarily. One of the key components of achieving a quick and decisive win in a military campaign is to catch the enemy unaware. But it's almost impossible at a strategic level, since Russian buildup has been happening for quite a long time and Ukraine is well aware of this. Even a surprise at the tactical level, for example from where the first push will be initiated, is very hard to pull off now. The US and NATO are keeping a keen eye on the developments and a bunch of specialized intelligence assets have been conducting missions. Two United States Air Force ISR aircraft and E-8C J-STARS and an RC-135V rivet joint have recently flown several sorties. Apart from this, satellite intelligence is also gathered round the clock. The US has the largest intelligence collection capabilities, and all this will be shared with the Ukrainian establishment. It's likely that Ukraine will know where and when, as well as with what, Russia will attack. Overall, Ukraine's military hardware is obsolete, but it has certain Soviet-era systems which could inflict a heavy cost on Russian forces. For example, it has S-300PT, S-300PS, S-300V long-range air defense systems. At least four batteries of this system are thought to be in working condition. Similarly, it has the T-84 main battle tank a development of the Soviet T-80 main battle tank that was introduced in 1976. The T-84 was first built in 1994 and entered service in the Ukrainian Armed Forces in 1999. The T-84 is based on the diesel-engined T-80 
T80 version, the T80UD. A range of upgrades, like better armor, make it a formidable platform and this could potentially hold its own even against Russian T-90 tanks. A survey conducted by the Kyiv International Institute of Sociology KIIS, on December 3rd through 11th, 2021 has put up some startling data. In December 2021, the KIIS, as part of the omnibus, asked respondents, if Russia invaded your town or village, would you take any action, and if so, which exactly? In general, the results of the poll show that Ukrainians will repel Russian invaders, the statement reads. As per the survey, in general, every third respondent, 33.3%, is ready to put up armed resistance. Another 21.7% are ready to participate in civil resistance actions. In general, 50.2% of Ukrainians are ready to repel aggression in one way or another. This is dangerous for Russia. The more it moves inside Ukraine, the supply lines will be stretched and they'll be vulnerable to attacks by civilians. It's to be noted that the Ukrainians will be fighting on their own turf and will have a better understanding of terrains and set up fortifications and ambushes. The West is trying to turn Ukraine into a porcupine for Russia by supplying a significant cache of weapons. For example, the U.S. recently sent payloads that includes the Javelin anti-tank guided missiles and the M141 bunker defeat munition. UK Royal Air Force C-17 Globemaster III cargo planes have also been flying sorties to Borispil International Airport, which is located outside the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. Ukrainian officials have confirmed that the aircraft are bringing in loads of main battle tank and light anti-tank weapon MBT law. These kinds of weapons don't need a lot of training to use, are very hard to take out with preemptive strikes, and can inflict significant damage on Russian forces. We know how the Stinger missile impacted the Soviets in Afghanistan. A similar situation can crop up here, which can be politically and economically untenable for President Putin. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.